Hello and welcome. We're going to do a very short recording this time. Um, I'm not streaming it because it's... Um, I'm trying to, as accurately as I can, portray the visuals. So I'll just be recording this. This is um, an art demo from... Um, oh, I think I forgot their name. Massive uh, something. In any case, they've... Um, been endorsed by the Unity engine themselves for this creation that they've done, which is more for the visual than the actual gameplay that it's inside. There's very minimal gameplay aspect, which we're just going to go through over all of them to see what this game can offer. So it's just a butterfly, well a moth, because it's called Moth Head, the art demo. Which is freely available if you download it. I think it's available on the Unity site, there's probably a download sub for it somewhere. Um hmm. Oh. It's a cord. There we go. I think we're supposed to go through here. As you can see, I don't know if I can... No, I can only exit. I can show you the graphical settings. But I have put them on the maximum. To try and show off as good as possible, as well as possible, what I can do. And there we go. And now I'm inside this um, strange guy's body. And he can do some stuff. Mostly that. So let's walk around a little. As you can see, fairly decent lighting. Certainly the Unity engine has been um, perhaps a little less powerful than um, its bigger brothers such as um, the Unreal Engine which is very well known. Oh, can't get into water and you'll die. Luckily my little dude is... But um, this one shows that it's... Um, this art demonstration shows that there's actually a ton of potential inside the engine. It's also a lot easier to produce or so I've heard. I myself am um, not skilled enough in game development to actually make an honest opinion about it, but that's what I've been told. Good color contrast also, lots of good reflections. Rather, as you can see the metal on the left side, rather realistic. Of course the clipping in this presentation is absolutely terrible. But um, again, it's defined more by the visuals than its gameplay aspect. Now, I've just died because I had to work on this and heighten this lever. Bam. And now we'll be able to raise the water level and um, uh, get there where we'll do some stuff. Light in coming in, rather solid. And now we're in a second environment. Now we're going to need to try and uh, rescue our little uh, friend over there in the jar. As you can see also the blurring in the um, fore and background differences also creating a nice atmosphere reflection very very well done rather impressive again you shouldn't um, really bother with all the clipping detection issues oh can we do something over here oh, oh. he can die not good. 
Maybe we can... No, we can't. Wait, I'm now getting a prompt. Hog world honey. All right. So the plot thickens, as it were. Time to get cracking. Why isn't our moth head? There we go. We're back. Alright. Let's see if we can um, get there somehow. I'm not so sure how. I did not. I don't think Mothat actually has any functions that he can jump or anything. Perhaps it's just up to me, the Moth, to do all the work. Yep. Alright. So. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Take another moment to reflect on the water particles in the back. Housing fairly standard. Once more, very well produced lighting. And um, I take it we're just going to have to push our friend until he breaks. Yes, we do. And we're free, free to go off into nature and do whatever it is that mobs do. And that's the end of the stream. We've um, successfully gone through it. Through the art demo, we can also just, I think, hit this thing and we'll see some of the physics. So, this is what um, Unity still has to offer, which is quite impressive. Um, the makers of this, I forgot their name again, it's, it's a massive something something. <laughs> They're also working on a action tile called Zombie Playground. Obviously it's zombies and the playground. Yeah, hi. Um, it's on Kickstarter, I think it's already been successful, I'm not sure. Yeah, pretty sure it has. Um, action game, looking pretty good with kids that use their imagination to fend off zombie horde and um... maybe... ooh, well, nice maybe you should uh, check that out until then, I'll see you next time thanks for watching